Good morning, everybody. Um, so this morning, I want to talk a little bit about our soul's purpose. Um, why is it, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and I was asking him and talking to him about, like, why is it that some people find their soul purpose and do so well, even in business, at such a young age. For example, um, I've started watching these uh, makeup tutorials because I'm just doing things that make my energy go, yeah, I can feel it. And I just um, stumbled on YouTube upon a makeup um, tutorial and I actually really enjoyed watching it and it reminded me how much I loved I used to love doing my makeup and feeling girly so that was really good because I listened to the energy and I started watching more and more makeup tutorials um, and I've been doing my makeup more and feeling beautiful which is really important and that is part of my life purpose too and I had stopped doing that when I was super busy with my gym and working and after my husband passed away just you know life happens you go through tragedy and you have to uh, live through the experiences so anyways um, um, so makeup tutorials and I was, so I was watching YouTube and there's this, there's a few women on these channels that they're so good at what they do. They're so good. They have over a million followers and these women are 20, between 21 and I believe like 27, it's over a million followers. They're traveling, they're living the lives that they want to live they you can tell in their videos they're so happy and um they're doing what they love to do which is makeup why is it that these souls are experiencing such joy happiness at such a young age and some of us struggle to find it all of our lives like what is it about that um and as we were as I was, as we were talking, you know, we all come down with a journey, and I've talked about a little bit about this before. But when we're up in the ether, um, and we, our soul is always evolving. So us as human beings are not only the only ones that are always evolving, but when we're up there, our souls are always wanting to evolve. That's why the soul comes down and we take on this human form is to learn lessons. So it may have been that these women that I watch and I absolutely love, man, they're talented. They inspire me, these young women. Um, their contract to come down on earth was maybe to experience joy, experience um, love and life. And that is exactly what they're doing. Whereas for me, for example, uh, personally, mine was to experience being alone and doing it. I've, I, uh, through my persistence and um, just learning from every individual experience, I have learned that um, I don't want to be alone. There's there, It's great, but you need balance in everything. And I was so far alone and I've always had this. And I just recently learned that, no, 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 no. I want to co-create. And even in this co-creation process, you know, I'm going to give myself a little bit of credit because... It's not that I haven't co-created because even through the arguments, like even when you feel like you are, you're one with somebody, like your, your wife, your husband, whomever, those arguments are human. You're supposed to go through these arguments, but then because I've talked about mirrors, you learn from these arguments and you grow. Our purpose, the soul is craving, our higher self is craving growth. So these arguments are completely normal. They're fine. You'll get through them. Just take the emotions out, which is the hardest part to do. I know, I know. Um, but look at it constructively. And I feel as though I was given that balance when I came down. And part of the reason, I get along really well with males. 
I, and I didn't know what it was before, but now I know it's because I do have, maybe I was a little overly male um, before in my life because I, I felt like I had to be because of the living alone and the loneliness um, aspect. But now that I'm more yin, I'm not only getting along with males, I always got along with males really well anyways because I could talk to them almost at like, not at a female level, but just to have a constructed conversation without feeling whether it was about business or they were asking me advice about something. But now I can t I talk to male with my yin energy as well, and there's always a little bit of um, like our energies mix, and I can now. Um, I talk to males at a professional level, but I'm also very female, and they can feel my feminine energy, and that's what makes us women super attractive, and that was my learning process was, you know, even in the aloneness um, and the arguments in my relationships that I've had, I was still co-creating because I've learned. I, like, I feel like I've evolved. So anyways, I am... Um, it's our soul's journey uh, to learn whatever lessons that our life path kind of takes us. The life path is already set out because you set it out up there. But now it's up to us to bring in awareness. And that was for me step one and non judgment for yourself because everything that you've done, there was a reason for it. Just learn from your experiences. And that's, that's what these women, these young women, their contract was joy, happiness, travel. And I'm going to talk about, I'm going to make a video right after this about travel because I was invited to travel. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. And I'm going to stop the ahs and the ums. I'm going to try. I watched my videos. Oh, I normally don't watch them, but my last video is too much. I might even take a speaking course. I've done Toastmasters before. I'm not sure if I'm... I'm a fan of it, but I might try it again. Gross.